Is it snow like on the planes are throwing stuff in the air? Oh, the chemtrails! But who's yeah. doing that? Who's doing that? Who's doing that? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's right. Spraying chemicals on our children. <laughs> They're doing this. It's not. This is not. It's not magical. Mm -hmm. Somebody's paying the motherfuckers to spray this shit to kill your people. Yeah, I want to say real fast. Uh, so it is kind of true, then. Uh, it is. It's not kind of true. true. It's, true. It's, true. it's true. It's true. It's true. We gotta stop thinking. Oh, it might happen. No, we gotta deal with issues. This is really happening, and it and it sucks. It hurts, and it and it scares you in the beginning. Because yeah. a lot of people don't want it. They don't like truth. They like their little lie. They like the little bubble. I didn't even believe it till I seen it. Like what? They, they don't believe that the government would do something like that. Yeah. Wait a second. <laughs> These are the same descendants of people that did this and got yeah. rich off this. It's the same spirits. They came from the same forefathers. And they hate your people. They hate the Boricuas. They hate not only Native Americans. Look, you, know, you see what, do, what they're doing in North Dakota with Native Americans? They're right. shooting them down. Yeah. And the Native Americans are rising up the white man saying, you're not polluting this water. And we will risk our lives. And you know what Trump just passed? He passed the bill to kill all the Native Americans that stand up against executive orders. Trump. Oh my God. So, and yeah. you know what happened too? Yeah. What spiritually happened, because we're spiritual people. Uh, an eagle came from the heavens. A bald eagle came down, and they all and, and the Native Americans started petting it. Mm -hmm. And the eagle was there for an hour. And the eagle left. Don't you know the Bible tells you when the nuclear missiles come to destroy America, it's gonna destroy America in 60 minutes? It's all problems. Even the bisons came up. There was protesting against the white man. Yeah. They brought out the spirit horses. They was crying to the father. And a bisons, a bunch of bisons came out. And even the security guards got scared. It was like, come on, man. Go on, go on. You yeah, the scriptures. Bring out the scriptures. I got some. This is Ezekiel chapter 33, move verse the camera 30. Too. You know, move the camera around. Go ahead. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against you thee brother, shalom, shalom, by the man. walls. Hey, man, no matter what, brother, you an Israelite. And guess what? In the kingdom, I'm going to serve you some wine. Hey. Right. Ezekiel 33 hey, that, proves and 30. that proves that our people are Israelites. Yeah, that's right. We're telling our people that God's chosen people. We're telling our people that the kingdom of heaven is coming for them. They're gonna come out the ghettos and the projects and the reservations, and they don't want it. They don't want that. <laughs> That's how you know we're Israelites. Israelites don't want to be Israelites. Go ahead, Judas. You got it. All right. Oh man, oh, wow. beautiful, beautiful. Remember, keep it, keep it on. Keep it this on. is um, Ezekiel chapter two, verse one. It said, and he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet. And I will speak on to you. And the spirit answered into me. Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 1. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the spirit answered into me when I when he spake unto me, and he set me upon my feet. Then I heard him that spake unto me, and he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that I've rebelled against me. That's, that's, oh, I'm about to say that. See that? Like we try to tell Professor Ogilvy that the Lord only came to the nation of Israel, man. All the prophets that he sent out was to the Israelites, man. Everybody can't be involved. No. Everybody no. cannot be involved. That's no. it. Everybody's not involved in a, in a ruling now. Yeah. You got some poor and you got people on top. Yeah. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. But go ahead, brother. Yeah. I send thee to the children of Israel to a rebellious nation mm -hmm. that have rebelled against me. They and their they and their fathers have transgressed against me. Even unto this very day. Even unto this very day. What is it, April 1st? God. So everybody's prime fools today. April Fools. Prime. Oh, yeah. That's probably all the fools is coming out. Yeah, that's right. We had two fools before your brothers came here. Well, he was yeah. one of them. Yeah, but he got cut through the spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? He's speaking real stuff over here. We're not playing games. And, and it's to the point that it's like, yo, the people that's, yeah, the people that's we're telling, they're the, they're the true chosen people of God of the Bible. And everybody said they believe in the Bible. They're saying, nah. I like it here. So you like being oppressed. That's why I say you were a rebellious house. Who are you rebelling against? You're rebelling against the person that gave you the power, that chose you, that built the whole earth. And you trying to say you don't want to be down with that? Well, go and kick rocks then. For they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. Mm -hmm. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, thus saith the Lord God. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, 
for they are a rebellious house. Yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. That's right, man. And Lord willing, we be those men. Because the contract is just on Saturdays, man. All through the week, man. We get the shit in on the stick. We don't get, we don't get our, what Lord willing, our just do. That's why we got to wait for the Lord. The Lord is going to give us all of that, man. We don't need no glory from men. We don't need to say, yo, word up, yo, believe that. Only people we are here for is the elect of Israel, man. That's, right. That's what it's really about. It's not about just having how many people, oh, yeah, I believe, bro. Well, if you don't believe, if you do believe, don't just be a hero, but be a doer also. That's right. That's why we out here, man. We're out here just to be out here on a Saturday, just to scream and yell. We're out here to get, we're out here to, so the Lord can have enough mercy on us so we can get the hell out of America. Exactly. That's so right. So he can destroy America. Exactly. And fuck that, and, and, and to what Professor Ogilvy was saying, oh, well, how come they're on top of us? How come we, you can't uplift the curse? How you gonna uplift a curse that you didn't put on yourself? No one's gonna curse themselves. Oh, that was more, my bad, my bad. Sorry. And thou, O, and thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words. Right. Though briars and thorns be with thee, and thou dost dwell among scorpions, mm -hmm. be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, mm -hmm. though they be a rebellious house. That, yo, sure. and, and that's beautiful, man. So the Lord gonna put you in all types of situations, man. And we're not gonna just be arguing back and forth with people, man. Hey, if you don't believe, yeah. hey, keep it, keep it moving. Yeah. That's okay, I see you on the other side. Yeah, we're, gonna speak over, yeah. we're gonna see you. You're gonna be there, and you're gonna be one of those people that's ashamed. Yeah. And that shame is not just being ashamed that you lost your the game seven. That ain't gonna be that kind of shame. It's gonna be a shame to where you feel like a piece of shit. When somebody say, when you got your head down, that's like, in the ancient world, that's like a real, like, uh, um, you feel real bad, like, you got your head down to another grown man, like, yeah. that, that's bad, man. Yeah, you're a king with your head down. Yeah, a king. And you ruling. Yeah. But there's somebody ruling a little over you. Know what I'm saying? There's more in that, bro? I got another one. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're bringing that real quick. Psalm 73, verse 3. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. That's what that's what Professor, Professor Ogilvy was saying. Why can't why can't we get a little piece? This ain't our kingdom. You can't get a piece of the kingdom that is not your kingdom. For, for there are no bands of death. This is 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 3. Knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers, mm -hmm. walking after their own lusts, mm -hmm. and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? That's right, man. And that's what Professor Ogilvy was saying. Where is the promise of his coming? And little do you know, you witness it every day, man. To the people that do watch the news, and people that do keep an eye to their ear to the what's going on. If you if you have any kind of knowledge and are trying to seek knowledge, you're gonna be watching the news. Just don't think that everything you see on the news is fairy tale, man. Cause people gotta think when they watch the news, all oh, the news is depressing. Well, think about how much depressing the concentration camp gonna be. Yeah, yeah. Think yeah, about that. Yeah. Think about getting your big toe chopped off. Yeah. Get each one of your fingers chopped off. Yeah, they, they want to stay in the matrix, man. Yeah, no food, no food. It says, for since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Mm -hmm. For this, they willingly are ignorant of. They willingly ignorant. So they willingly, so like you got somebody come up here and scoff, you tell them the truth, and they be like, oh, you know, you know sounds good. But, 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 ain't no buts. Ain't no buts, man. Don't let y'all hear your buts, man. Well, Lord came to Moses and said, this is the statutes. He didn't say, Moses didn't say, but, well, can we do that? No, ain't no buts. Yeah. Ain't no buts, man. That's, right, man. That's, That's right. all about what the Lord want. That's why when, 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 before y'all got here, was asking Professor Ogilvy, like, he said, well, I feel that judgment should be this, this, man. Well, who the hell are you? Yeah. You just some nigga on the streets. And, and mortal man. Just as we are, but we're trying to work for our immortality. That's why we out here, cause we know we ain't shit too. But we trying. There's more than that, brother. Oh yeah. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of the Most High, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. 
Isaiah 5 verse 13 Therefore my people are going into captivity Because they have no knowledge And their honorable men are famished And what's the knowledge that you need? Ain't just to know anything The knowledge of these scriptures, the commandments but That's all the reason why we in our predicament So you say why we this, why we that Because we didn't follow this It's simple And you ain't going to be able to get out of it by just thinking otherwise Oh well I think I should be living like this Well the Lord don't care if you are Israelite, you are under the curses right now. Lil Wayne is under curses. LeBron James is under curses. Don't let that money fool you. And they, and they more under curses because they sold their soul. So they're going to have to die on this side. And the Lord has come back to kill certain Israelites. Just because you're part of the chosen nation don't mean you ain't going to die. You're going to get it worse. Because the Lord will be like, yo, well, you're Israelite, so you, you under this guys. You under this guys. So you walking down the streets thinking they ain't got nothing to do with you. Hey, you wanna see how much you got to do with you, whether this comes for you or if that comes to you and that comes to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that description. And, and, and it's gonna it's gonna be rightly, rightfully so. Brad, oh, yeah, more. I have another piece of it. Right here, you got Brad? And their multitude dried up with thirst. Mm -hmm. Therefore hell hath enlarged itself and opened her mouth without measure. And their glory and their multitude and their pomp and he that rejoiceth shall descend into it. And the mean man shall be brought down and the uh -huh. mighty man shall be humbled and the eyes of the lofty, lofty shall be humbled. That, yeah, that's what Israel get that, that's what Israel get that, get that, that reward man. And Esau's taken down. So-called white men ain't gonna be ruling forever, man. This ain't how life's supposed to be. Why would the Lord choose a nation and have them permanently cursed? I choose you to be cursed? Now you're gonna give the goodness of the earth, man. The righteousness. That's the balance, man. You can't just love everybody. How you gonna love people that's, uh, their, their, their main objective in life is to kill you and your kind. I can't love a cop. I can't love, uh, what the fuck is his name? Um, no, 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 the cop. D Darren. D Darren. Darren Wilson. Darren Wilson. I can't love him. Why am I love him? He killed one of my brothers. Come on, man.